Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love, romance, relationship reading and it will be for January to February 2021 and it is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Leo and pull your overarching energy for the next month or two. <clears throat> so what do we have for Leo please, Angel Spirits Guides, January to February 2021 for the sign of Leo, okay. Oh nice. Very nice. The star. Card of Aquarius. So I'm going to pull three cards, Leo. The first card is the issue or challenge you, you need help from spirit in terms of love, romance, relationships. Um, the second card is the advice from spirit. The third card is the outcome, the future outcome. Should you take the advice? And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Leo in terms of love, romance, relationships, please? January to February 2021, please, angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Leos, thank you. The death card is your issue or challenge. Wow, judgment. My goodness. These cards are rebirth energies and your future outcome. There you are. Wow. <laughs> I love that you're appearing in your outcome uh, because it is you back in your own right, back in your power, reconnected to who you are, what you stand for. It's beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to pull clarifying cards. So can we clarify the cards on the table, please, Angel Spirits Guides. For our lovely Leos, thank you. In love, romance, relationships, January to February 2021, please. So what do we have for our lovely Leos? Thank you. Message for Leo. We have the Five of Cups with the Death card. Judgment is clarified by the Eight of Wands. And the Strength card, Leo, is lovely, clarified by the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. I want to look underneath that. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords underneath that as well. So the Star Energy is a card of hope. Finding hope, new hope. This is a card of dare to dream. It's a dream energy because the universe is giving you blessings. This is the divine wish fulfillment card here. Um, saying that whatever choices you make, whatever decisions that you make, whatever, wherever you align to now, you're going to be on the right path. You're going to find the right path for you. You're going to find the right direction. And I can tell this, Leo, because I have this Six of Swords, which is Aquarius energy as well, at the end of the reading. Um, and it's tying in with this star card because it is about finding your direction, being on the right path. Uh, a sense of self-renewal, hope, optimism, blessings from the universe. So very beautiful energy indeed. But also a card of dare to dream. Uh, because it feels for some of you, the universe wants to give you blessings. And it comes when something has definitely ended. You know, the six of, sorry, why did I say the six? Curious that I'm saying the six. Uh, six might mean something to you, but we have the death card and the five of cups. So the death card is a card of Scorpio, which is the Phoenix rising card. It is a card of transformation from endings. We allow ourselves to let go of the old in order to embrace the new. And that's what the Phoenix does. It rises in its own light and it actively destroys the old in order to embrace the new and reveal the new to the world. This is about you rising in your light once more, emerging from what was of the past to what will be. You know, it's a lovely, lovely energy of transition and, and positivity and transformation and you emerging. Emerging from a period of, of loss, maybe something finishing here, an ending of something, 
and there's definitely an energy with the five of cups of it feels that there's an energy of looking back uh, the three cups are spilt on the floor there are two cups full of uplifting energy still available to you so it feels like even though something feels like it's ended i mean this can be about regret this can be about feeling a failure this can be about looking back regretting something and yet for some of you there is still hope here I feel something has ended but there is still hope there is still hope and there is still hope because we have the star here so let's clarify this five of cups let me clarify the five of cups please for leo why is there still hope Why is there still hope, please, angel spirits, guides? There's a feeling of all is not lost. Okay. Yeah. We have the Eight of Swords and the Lovers. So the Eight of Swords is an energy of negative thoughts, It can be kind of feeling the victim. But we have the lovers, which is to do with love, romance, relationships. I mean, there's definitely an energy of something isn't, even though you can't see it, it, it feels in this situation, there's still hope, all is not lost. I'm definitely getting this energy here, Leo. But the, the Eight of Swords is negative thinking. And the Lovers can be the choice card, the decision card, um, in terms of matters of the heart, love, romance, relationships. There's this kind of energy of... Your mind can be your worst enemy. How you perceive something can keep you in that state of negative thinking, in the state of negative thoughts. And it's to do with love, romance, relationships. And the more you focus on the negative, the less hope there is. Because again, there's this energy of, the more you, you kind of like focus on the negative of what this situation is all about, the less you're likely to see the two of cups in your present position, which is full of hope, optimism. Um, so there's definitely an energy of there's some, still some hope here. But what you're placing your focus on, it, it might well sometimes be about focusing on the wrong thing. It feels like there's been some ending, but all is not lost. Interesting. Let's clarify this judgment card. Yeah, I mean, it kind of says the same thing. Um, it feels something seems to have ended here, but it, it, interestingly enough, we've got the resurrection card here as well, the, the judgment card. And the, the two of, uh, this is like the awakening of the souls. So there's definitely this energy of, you know, and you can see them coming out of the dark, stepping into the light. This is about letting go. This can also be about forgiveness, the judgment card as well. And you have two choices now, two paths available to you. And it feels for some of you, I mean, this death card can be a card of um, endings, but it, it can also be a card of wiping the slate clean. Something has happened and it may well feel that there's something temporarily ended or something that has ended. And the more you focus on this negative situation or whatever negative was the reason why something finished, the less you're likely to see the opportunity for, it feels like resurrecting something and definitely getting that energy. 
because the judgment card very much similar to the two of wands it can be a card of you have a choice now a decision to make some kind of judgment call you can either give it can be a second chance card or it can be about going your own way and again that two of wands is an important decision at a crossroads uh, choosing your path um, and, and deciding what you want and what you don't want now because for some of you positive shifts movement growth progress is available to you as a result of this decision this can be a card of news good news generally um, it's a card of when you take action there is some kind of positive shift positive energy positive movement progress in your situation it can be sometimes about connecting to people online for me as a reader um, it can be a conversation leads to something solid as well for me as a reader it feels in this energy Leo you're really considering whether you really want something to end or is there still hope in a situation the more you focus on the negative the less hope there'll be that's for sure you have a window of opportunity here of two paths to be available to you you can either give somebody a second chance or give something another go or go your own way and it feels that once you make this decision it's going to stay with you for quite some time so it is a card of choose wisely make the judgment call wisely and again there's a message certainly with the star card of there's still hope and that's what you're being told here um, so definitely an, a, an opportunity to make progress in a situation by the decision that you make in whichever route that you go let's clarify the six of cups Let's clarify the Six of Cups. Hmm, yeah. So the Ace of Coins can be about moving, relocating, can sometimes be to do with financial career opportunities. In terms of love, there is an opportunity to manifest something solid, stable, secure that has the ability to grow into that tree to really grow something stable, secure, to something wonderful, big, um, rewarding, long-term energy for the future, you know? And it definitely feels in this situa situation you're being told. Like I said, the Six of Cups could be somebody from the past bringing you the opportunity to bring new growth into your life. And it feels it's because something wasn't finished. It feels like unfinished business here. Yeah, I've got the Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups is a card of cancer, but it's to do with love, romance, relationships, somebody from the past coming back into your life, offering you, you have this opportunity. And it feels like a window of opportunity. Um, it feels like a start over energy with somebody. Because this is you, Leo. The message is, can you master the negative thoughts of the past? Can you get past that? Because that's what you're being asked to, to, asked to do here. The strength card, when Wait um, designed it with Pamela Coleman-Smith, um, there's definitely this energy of, um, this was always called the mastery of one's thoughts. And you can imagine your thoughts can dictate how you interact with people, how you perceive people, um, how you deal with your own inner challenges your own negative thoughts and the ability to overcome them and this is somebody who gently um, understands how to slowly but surely overcome that which challenges them that which can this is about taming those untamed thoughts um, so there's definitely this energy here about having the courage to go for what you want now the courage the strength the resoluteness because it definitely feels for some of you someone from the past is coming back into your life and I'm getting this energy of unfinished business because the seven of, of coins or seven of pentacles is a card of whatever this opportunity is you have 
this is a card of something that you put a lot, a lot of effort into. You built a lot of value with this person. There are seven coins here. You have history here. And, you know, some of it, it feels in this situation was of value. So this is about taking stock of the weight of what this offer or opportunity is. Because for some of you, you have an opportunity to heal from the situation. Uh, the Six of Swords is about healing. It can be about uh, finding direction, finding the right path, moving forward, moving out of troubled times. But it can be a card of transition, healing, moving forward to better times ahead. Uh, because there still seems to be some history, some value attached to what this person is who's coming back into your life. So I really like the energy here because there's definitely an energy of all is not lost. And definitely this energy of now is the time to reconnect to what you really want. You know, um, it's from the heart. You are ruled by the heart energy. And there's definitely this energy of let your heart overcome any negative thought patterns, thought blocks. This can be a block energy as well. Block to love, you know, the mental block, the mental barrier. Um, and it's definitely this energy of overcoming that now, Leo. You have this opportunity, the window of opportunity to really make some kind of important decision and allow the healing and the positive transition to move forward. There's an energy of moving, relocating here as well. Some of you might be considering that. Uh, moving, relocating, transition. I mean, it might well be the regret was because somebody moved or somebody had to move or there was an opportunity for someone to move for whatever reason. And it definitely feels like the opportunity is coming around for you to reconnect with somebody, find joy because the Six of Cups is joy. It is somebody from the past revisiting the past, but it is an energy of joy, happiness, finding joy again. And definitely this energy of you have history, is it worth the effort? You know, is it worth, is it valuable enough to you? Is it worth your time? Is it worth investing in now? And I definitely feel in this situation, the star is saying, you know, there is such hope and um, reasons to be very hopeful this month and the next month, obviously January to February. So I love the energy for that reason, Leo. It feels very beautiful. I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Leo, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Final message for Leo, thank you, in terms of love, romance, relationships. Yeah, you see, we have the elephant grounding. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. Love the energy, Leo. I'm going to pull you one more. Feel you need one more. Any other message for Leo, please, angels, spirits, guides? Any other message for Leo, please, in terms of love, romance, relationships? Thank you. That flew out. Yeah, you see. Dear, trust, approach the situation with a light heart. So I love the reading, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.